All right, welcome back. Uh, so in the last one, uh, I talked about this Raspberry Pi LCD hat and how it gives me a display without adding too much cables uh, and too many um, larger converter boards. Now I had another issue. Uh, for the project, I wanted more USB ports than the one uh, USB OTG port that the Pi Zero provides. And again, adding a proper USB hub with some sort of uh, OTG connection like this one adds fat, ugly cables. And there's again no way around it. You can get flat flex ones, but then again, you're still adding more cables and there's a big box of uh, USB hub that you need to place somewhere. So again, uh, Waveshare, I, I don't know what they, uh, those folks do. Um, they have amazing stuff for the Pi. Again, I've been out of this for a while, so probably just new to me. But um, they have this hub. This is a hub hat. It's technically not a hat. It's not a hat because it goes at the bottom of the Pi. It doesn't go on the top. And again, that wouldn't work because A, USB isn't split out through the GPIOs. B, it the... RGB LCD hat uses all of the GPIOs and uh, if I have a hat on here I would still need a little bit of cable to connect to the micro USB port. So the way the, these guys go get around it is they have pogo pins at the back and for those of you who don't know what pogo pins are these pins are compressible um, pressure pins so when you put some metallic surface against them they compress and make a solid contact so something like that if you can see it moving and on the smaller ones so they have pins for ground uh, 5 volts and your USB data plus and data minus there's an ID pin ID pin isn't on the Pi 02W but maybe it's on the original Pi Zero and I haven't tested that so it's not required. Um, uh, this is just a USB. If you just want to use this as a separate hub, that's fine. Uh, but if you use this USB, it disables the uh, the Pi's D plus, D, uh, plus minus pins. So um, I don't know which way it works, whether you can just use a USB and use it as a hub or you can disable all the ports and use this as the OTG port, some, something along those lines. And so it's, it's simple, there's just one chip, four ports, um, and that's it. Pretty simple device. So let's see where how it plugs in. At the back of the Pi Zero, um, you can see you have the test points, the D plus D P and D M also the data plus and data minus you have the five volt pin you have the ground pin uh, not not pins again sorry test points there's a lot more test points at the back um, if you've not looked at it there are a couple of power ones 3.3 volts DDI 1.2 volt core voltage so you can actually just skip the Pi's power supply completely create your own beefy power supply and overclock this thing but and that's what people have done before. Um, there's an OTG pin, there's a TV pin I saw somewhere, there's the TV one, um, yeah, so they do have quite a lot of pins at the back to just, you know, com compress fit, um, test pad, test equipment, harnesses, stuff like that, probably from the factory, uh, and this just goes on top like so, and if you see from here, it aligns with those test pins and when you press it and you screw it down it will uh, you know compress on them and make a fairly good contact i honestly don't know about the reliability of the contact um, it's not soldered so it's not as good as something just sitting there with actual solder connection joint on it uh, but it's also not just bare um, solid pins stuck touching the pad. They, these are like pogo proper pogo pins. So I'm not worried that they'll slip off or like they lose connection with a bit of a jerk. Uh, but they are still something I wouldn't put in a high vibration environment. Um, this is for a project that's for the most part going to be in my hand or on a desk. 
so it doesn't really matter so that's it you have your four screws screwed in and so these screws are then very necessary to hold it in place and then you have your compressed pogo pins right there and there you go you can see you can barely see the top part of the three larger power pins and um, you can see a little bit of the top part of the uh, data pins there um, and as you would have noticed I've already broken out the power because in the again I, I don't want to use cables and the Pi has a pretty good power supply built in just provide 5 volts on power I think the 02W uses a switching power supply as well so uh, I don't need to provide 3.3 volt I can just use 12 volt and the internal power supply is pretty decent enough so let's test this out um, not to plug too many things to it here is the uh, keyboard and mouse thingy um, the wireless dongle trying to find a couple more things here and we'll plug in a USB drive once it boots up so let's power it up and as you can see the keyboard and mouse works fine and we open up the terminal and run LS USB should be able to see the bus which is this one USB the, the hub which is this one the tree view there you go that's much clearer and you can just add my drive I have a very weird OS on the boot drive right now okay yeah there you go okay so uh yeah everything shows up here's all the isos are key i keep around on ventai so it's work it works um yeah uh obviously i won't have flash drives attached to it uh that's not the plan I am going to have some USB to UART stuff, some other USB head devices attached to it. And we'll see how the project works in a near future update. So thank you so much for watching and uh, I will see you all in the next one.